Again, let's crush this car. Yes, for that from the previous car attack tutorial. All that coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. My pleasure to be here. Recently, I did this for you guys. As you can see, we have RBD or bullet solver, pyro solver, even vellum solver, and of course, a little bit of crowd future in Houdini. So, for that, it's considered to be a huge project. So, for that, I will give you an overview of this step because I covered up this most topic on my channel. By the way, I rendered this one in Unreal Renderer. If you want to see that in Unreal Engine 5, let me know in the comment section. I don't know, I can try. So, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin with this character. I download this from Miximo and create agent from it. And I have this clip and this one. You see that? That's cool. Now I have this agent clip property for the offsetting and not looping and this transition graph. You see that? I am matching the poses between these two animation to make it perfect and I have this uh, crowd transition simulation test you see that I trigger that in this frame and yeah we have this animation and I have this some offsetting and some uh, adjustment with the time here and that is our agent of course and you see that after this I hold the cyclation and all this setup is explained in this tutorial and yeah with that let's proceed okay this section is part two of this tutorial the car crash if you want more detail please watch that and let's begin okay we have this car and I load that from FX. I did some cleanup, of course. I have this group from the shop and the material selection. And of course, I uh, have this object attribute copied from the name attribute. I want to reserve that because I will need that later on. Okay. And I have uh, these wheels. I clean up the geometry, of course. And in this, for each loop, I have this proxy geometry, of course, to have correct simulation. To make this one interesting, I will separate the wheels from the body. And I want to be a regular constraint rather than soft constraint. So let me show you. So first I separate the body and the glass and then the wheel from the body. You see that I have these wheels and I make that a regular RBD configuration. And this is the body with the soft constraint on switch. That's cool. And we have this glass uh, geometry and pieces. Okay. Now I combine all this geometry, I unpack that and I generate this uh, constraint geometry. You see that? Okay, we need attribute for this geometry, of course. I have it here. Let me show you. You see that? In constraint output, we have all attributes we need. So I combine these three elements and that's our constraint network okay with the geometry of course i combine it together and let me delete that uh, obviously we don't need this rbd pack and unpack and voila we have our setup you see that In previous video, we crashed the car. That's a brutal thing to do. 
So how we can crumple this one? So I guess for that we need a magnet. So let's dive in into the bullet solver. You see I have this pop group. I'm selecting this section, okay. I separate that with this group or null here. You see without the glass. I want to apply force just to this, not the glass. And I preserve the group so the group is remain even is uh, moving after the simulation. I have this pop track to see in this range using this expression in the middle attraction. And of course, I have the op op uh, opposite one. You see that it will apply a bigger force in this direction in this frame. Okay, that's uh, the body, but let me show you the glass setup. Let me show you. We have this one. You see, represent the glass. I have this pop group and I randomly selected from this selection and I assign this group and I use this expression to apply this force in this range. You see that? And that's the whole setup. And let me show you the results. You see, that's went well. I love it. Okay, okay, we have this simulation now. We're gonna retrieve this object or pieces transformation to the original one, except the glass. We're gonna use the proxy one for the glass because we don't need that. Okay, I separate the original uh, body from the original object and I will use this measure. Recently, some of you guys reached out to me about the previous car crash tutorial. You see, you have apparently an issue with the RBD deformed pieces. That's the issue you see. And uh, after a simple or few research, I found out the solution. Let me show you. So to fix that issue, I measured the pieces and I delete the small pieces. You see that? That's so easy. Now I use these RBD deformed pieces to have this soft transformation. You see, but we have some issue in the explosion. This went crazy. So to fix that, I had this uh, uh, original simulation pieces and I cleaned up uh, some geometry you see and I transfer the name attribute to the original pieces here let me show you the name and the object you see we have the pieces on the original uh, body or geometry I want to control that okay love it now let's go to pack them uh, all pieces using this pack node with the name attribute cool and now I want to have a random group uh, selecting this node you see sorry this point okay you see that I selecting these uh, pieces or point represent by point that's why we pack them and of course you see we're gonna delete that and in another hand I transform this group to the original simulation and we're gonna do the opposite one with this sign here you see if we are increasing that we are decreasing the simula uh, original simulation let me show you here okay you see we are deleting the original one and replacing that with the Sim, uh, pieces of the simulation you see that's so obvious and I decide to transform uh, this simulation in this method you see I love it okay that's cool now of course I merge that with the rest of uh, the simulation and yeah let me show you here and that's the result, yeah, I guess that's went well. All 
Of course, some of you guys requested a pyro tutorial, especially in the car crash. You see that? And honestly, pyro, my favorite operation in Houdini. If you want more of pyro, let me know in the comment section. So let's see pyro in this one. Okay, let's do the pyro setup. Okay, we have this simulation and I delete the glass from it. And I have these pieces. Of course, I pack them to have a point represent for these pieces. Okay, let me show you. And I delete uh, the rest, but except the point. You see that's without the pack and that's with the pack. That's why I use the pack node. So I create pyro source to have this necessary attribute. And in another hand, let me show you that first. Okay, the explosion. I have this pyro burst source for the explosion. That's a handy simulate. Uh, sorry, handy node. You see, I uh, of course we have this burn and temperature, and I offset the animation. In the other hand, I have this shock uh, wave. You see, and I combine them, and I fed that to. A volume rasterize attribute you see I check this one normalize because if you don't you will have this nasty cube for the single point you see that's normalize that I love it okay it took a lot of time to figure that out okay with that let's go to pyro solver and of course I convert that to VDB and let me show you the result. I guess that's cool. Of course, uh, I use this setting in the Pyro Solver with this offset and dissipation and this shape. Not nothing fancy here. And in another hand, I need this sound barrier or a sound wave. I don't know what we call that okay and I convert that to rasterize without fading that to pyro I just merge that with the simple animation let me show you here you see not everything need to simulate okay let's carry on so I wanted more detail for that I create the circle remake that and delete the center of it I scatter some point, jitter that to have randomized point and turn that to grain. We have the grain, trust me, let me show you. We have this grain and I fed that to the vellum uh, solver. Let's play. Okay. We have this cool movement of the dust on the earth or on the ground, you see. Okay, that's with this pop tracked of course first we're gonna track the force to the center of the car and i use this uh, pyro advac by volume okay i use this shock wave you see that and i transfer that velocity to the point of course i have this animated uh, pop force in the y-axis you see and some of course noise here okay nothing fancy and this one and we have this vellum simulation okay let's put all these together by the way this is available on my patreon okay make sure to support me there thank you guys and we have these all element together you see houdini is the best to handling this complex uh, simulation and with that this is the final result you see that i love it and with that have a good day see ya